Hello everyone, my name is Rami Lutfi and uh, I'm here to talk to you about the journey for weight loss with our center at the Chicago Institute of Advanced Surgery. The goal of this video is to get you prepared for a consultation that will be done uh, with me, by our dietitian, our fellow, and the many people who are in our comprehensive program. So this is kind of an introduction, introduction to the surgery we do. And uh, at the Chicago Institute of Advanced Surgery, we provide pretty much comprehensive care, surgery, diet, lifestyle modification, psychological support, and so forth. But for this video, we're gonna talk about laparoscopic sleep gastrectomy and laparoscopic gastric bypass. I encourage you to go to our website. Um, here, I'm gonna show you, a, uh, it's drlutfi.com. And I'm gonna talk really about the procedures on our, uh, from our website so you all can actually look at them. Here we go, laparoscopic, uh, gastric sleeve, gastric bypass, and other things that we're gonna talk about. But for now, we are talking about sleeve gastrectomy. In sleeve gastrectomy, which is the most common procedure we perform, uh, what we do is we basically make the stomach look like a sleeve. And this is the word sleeve gastrectomy. So we remove that part of the stomach and make the stomach smaller and the procedure also allows for metabolic changes in your body not only limiting what you eat but also this part of the stomach secretes a lot of the hormones that go to our brain and make us hungry i'm going to go show a little video animation because always animation are more fun uh, from our website about how the sleeve works uh, uh, let me see here if we can find it and here we go uh, uh, this is on our YouTube channel and uh, valve. During a sleeve gastrectomy, a thin vertical sleeve is created by using a staple. Here go. This sleeve will typically hold between 50 and 150 milliliters and is about the size of a banana. The resected portion of the stomach is removed. By altering the anatomy of the gastrointestinal tract, sleeve gastrectomy changes signals in the body, resulting in decreased hunger and increased feelings of fullness after meals. And that is here how the procedure works. So not only by limiting the storage, but also making people a uh, less hungry. The gastric bypass, on the other hand, a, uh, works by doing the same thing, making smaller storage, but also rerouting the intestine. And this is here, we're gonna show that. During a gastric bypass, a small pouch is created in the stomach using a stapling device. Small pouch. A small stomach pouch about the size of an egg limits the amount of food you can eat before feeling full. The small bowel is separated into two sections. The lower portion of the small bowel is attached to the newly created stomach pouch. This allows food to pass directly into the second portion of small bowel where digestion continues. The upper portion of the small bowel is reconnected to the lower. Bile and pancreatic fluids from the liver and pancreas allow food to be digested completely. By altering the anatomy of the gastrointestinal tract, gastric bypass changes signals in the body, resulting in decreased hunger and increased feelings of fullness after me. So, you know, the idea between the two operations, one is just uh, both they're metabolic, they change the way you think about food, so they're not making your stomach smaller only, but also altering the signal to your brain. One, by removing part of the stomach that secretes those hunger hormones. The other one here as a bypass, by bypassing that stomach and make it secrete less. The difference is the small bowel part, which is in the gastric bypass uh, um, as a component, we reroute the intestine to decrease the absorption of sugar and fat, which, which are terrible for people who struggle with weight. So the gastric bypass has a little bit more to it a, um, and maybe a little bit more advantageous for people with diabetes and people with reflux disease and heartburn that is very debilitating. We do both surgeries laparoscopically through small little cuts in your abdomen instead of making a very large uh, incision, which allows me to do the surgery and send you home next day. So these are the two operations in the uh, next video. For those of you who want to go on, we're going to talk about the, the risk, benefits, and, and other things. But for this video, these are the two operations. We also pro 
perform duodenal switches and other surgery that are not as common. But uh, for now, these are the procedures that uh, we think most people are looking into. Uh, you can call us, the number is at the bottom of the screen, and uh, we will be happy to talk and customize the surgery for your uh, medical need, your medical history, medication and surgical history. We're looking forward to seeing you in person.